been trying to get an interview with you for like a week and a half now. You know that. What do you talk about? I got you. I stay right there. I got you. I'm gonna tag you. I got you when I'm done with this interview. Watch this. Yo. There we go. Yo, yo, yo. You good money? Good money, homie. Sad. There you go. There you go. Yo, Jag, what up, man? It's lit right now, man. It's up, man. What's happening? It's up right now, B. What's up? Man, you know I can't call it my G. Yo, listen, sad. listen, 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 listen. Before we even get into this, man, Cassidy and Hitman Holler, they face off. It's like 10 minutes long. It got over, it got a million views right now. In four days, five days. <clears throat> And there was an event going on at that time. So it's not even like there was nothing happening. This card is turning out to be crazy now. Yeah. This card is crazier than what it was a week and a half ago. Facts. Straight up. Facts. So, it's just, yo, now look, man. You my man. Not, I rock with you heavy and everybody knows that, bro. And I think you fire, right? I seen what Over Red said about you. Don't think I see it. I see it. All right? He said he's going to drag you. He said he's going to drag you in front of your father and Hitman was going to drag him. Listen, I feel like let me, this let me, is really hold on. at this point. Before, before, before you even uh, keep going with that, check this out. Okay. He said all that, right? Uh-huh. You seen the second part of that come out? No. Where he says, what the second part? Where he says you know, I ain't going to lie. Jack, Jack can rap rap. I know he gonna rap good against me, and I'm, I, I, you know, ain't gonna be nobody back. I'm, a, uh, it's, it, it'll be a gentleman's thirty. I'm just gonna edge him over uh, uh, every round. That's in the same. That's in the same interview. He said he gonna drag me, nigga. Be sure about what you gonna do to a nigga, homie, cause I'm gonna drag you, dog. You hear what I'm saying to you, blood? I'm gonna drag uh. you, nigga. Ain't gonna be no changing no mind. Old Red gonna do this, gonna do that to me, nigga. Nah, nigga. I'm gonna drag you, nigga. In front of everybody, nigga. That's why you're not bringing your gang with you. That's why you're not bringing your OG or your hood with you, nigga. Because you don't want to see niggas get, uh, you don't want them niggas to see you get dragged in front of everybody, nigga. So you're going to do it by yeah. yourself. You're going to come solo. And then you're going to come with this bitch ass narrative. Jag bought the gas station. No, nigga. The gas station was the crowd that came to see Jag kill your ass. I don't got nothing to do with the gas station, nigga. I don't own the gas station. Them niggas pumping their own cars out there, nigga. You feel me? They just know I'm nice. Mm. People come mm. to see Jag, like, listen, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Okay. Old Red has battled everybody. Did niggas really want to see Old Red at a max out if it wasn't against us fucking Jag? Let's be honest. No. Old Red is just another nigga on the motherfucking list that we know can Red. But wait, no, Jag. Wait, I got to stop you. I got to stop you. He wasn't going to build his car. He wasn't going to build his car. No, listen. I was on Old the Red ain't no whack Cap, nigga. Cap, listen. I was on the car already. They, I, they had show off for me at first. You feel me? What? Listen, what I'm telling you. Old Red wasn't on the car. What? You a show off? I'm that nigga. Come on, man. I'm that nigga. Them niggas ain't want to see Old Red. That's, like, that's what I'm saying. I like to speak facts, Cap. Niggas don't like to speak facts. They speak Cap. Do you feel me? Uh -huh. and, and all that Cap that they be talking, ain't nobody want to see Old Red. Come on. Why? What is he, a branding tool? A marketing tool? What, they going to make more money off of O-Red? No, nigga. They going to make money off O-Red because O-Red battling fucking Jag. Nigga, I'm on my third match here, and these niggas talking to me like I'm a top-tier nigga. How the fuck am I on my third match here, and I'm the match under the fucking main card, and the last two uh, uh, battles that they had, I was the main card. Who is these niggas mm. talking to? Mm. Talk, nigga, talk. Ain't no promo God like me. Talk. Ain't no branding like me. I literally came in like none other battle rapper has came me in the game. All they speak of me like a top tier nigga, and I'm on my third match in cap. Mm. This nigga mm. old red is f about to be 49 matches in, and they still don't say he god tier. Mm. You 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 might you maybe top tier nigga, but you not you not god tier and you 49 matches in. Mm. Bro, y'all gonna see pieces of god tier from Zag in this match. Damn. Damn. Watch me. Uh, Watch me. Okay. Yeah, old Red, you know I can rap, my nigga. You could talk all that bullshit you wanna talk. You could talk all that cast, little homie. Like I said before, Cap. 
if Cass, being Cass' little homie got me living good, then the old red smack your fucking OG, nigga. Because your OG has literally disrespected your whole life, my nigga. He didn't show you how to get to it, my nigga. If being Cass Lil Homie could get me on ESPN every fucking hour on the, on the every 10 minutes on the hour of the, of the fucking commercial break that they had for All-Star break, if, 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 if I could do that, being Cass Lil Homie, write seven songs for the NFL, write on two episodes of Drake Euphoria, you know what I'm saying? Be on the intro and outro of fucking I Am Athlete podcast with Ocho Cinco. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's, that's, that's right now. Like, I'm the intro and outro on the podcast. It ain't mm. another nigga that get, that's on there. Every time a nigga go watch that podcast, they, they stream in millions. I should get a motherfucking platinum plaque for all the streams that these motherfuckers is getting right now. Listen to me, oh. Nigga, what have you done? Bring receipts, my nigga. How many streams have you streamed? How many, what have you done musically? Because I heard you talk music. That's why I'm talking music. You heard said something about my diss and said, Jag, this was whack and all that. Like, listen, you don't have a right to speak on nobody about them being on a fucking beat, nigga. At all. Because after the battle on stage, we can go right in the parking lot with all them people there. And we can press play on music and bet, bet the motherfucking bag that we just got on that. And I take Damn. that bag from you. And have you walking home with nothing. Or you call your little Uber friends, your, your Uber co-workers, and have one of them niggas drive down to fucking Atlanta and pick you up. <laughs> nigga. Fuck wrong with you. Yo. This is an example. This this is what you showing the youth, oh, Red. This what you get for being a battle rapper for 50 years. This what y'all get. You wanna be a you wanna be a famous battle rapper? Be like oh, Red. 50 battles in with nothing. <laughs> this is this what y'all this what you saying niggas doing for the culture? Niggas always speaking this culture shit. What did you shift, nigga? What part of the culture did you shift, nigga? You ain't mm. shift nothing. You ain't do nothing for the culture but fucking rap. That's all you did, alright? What did you show the hey, fucking yo, but Jack? But he's nice though. He's nice. That's it. That's all you got to say. What did he do? What you mean? What do he do? What do you mean what I mean? Niggas like John John got leagues and these niggas got clothing lines and niggas got businesses and what, what, what the fuck did O-Red do with 50 battles? Damn. Is this what you Damn. say? Yeah. No, cap, cap, cap. If you got a son, if it was if you want your son to be a battle rapper, would O-Red be the nigga that you show an example to, to be like? Damn, come on. Jack. No, no, no. Answer the answer the question. Be for real. Would you with your kid, would you show your kid the example of O-Red? This how you if you want to be a battle rapper, this is the one you should uh, model your whole career after. The nigga who didn't do nothing. <laughs> nah, nah. The nigga who still looked like a bum, 49 battles in. He's still getting under double digits, bro, for a fucking battle and he 49 battles in. I'll be hanging myself, nigga. I would hang myself. Fuck wrong with you, O-Red. That's why you over here Uber eating and grub hubbing and, and fucking Uber driving and doing all this shit on the side, bro, because this shit's sad, dog. Like, no, listen, listen, literally, I would be sad. It's no way in hell because I'm a fucking businessman. It's no way in fucking hell that you're going to see Jack 49 battles in and I'm not fucking living like a fucking star. Mm. How? Mm. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck going on. Nigga, you, you got management? You need help? I got a management company. What do you, what do you need, all right? Like, let me help you, bro. I'm trying to shift the culture for real. Let me help you, oh. Like, come on, my nigga. What, what do you need? Like, tell me what you need to be done. You need a, a photographer or a videographer? Like, what, what do you need? Tell a nigga what you need, and maybe niggas can help you, you bum-ass nigga. Uh, Talking all that shit about being cast, little bro, nigga. When I'm out here getting placements on motherfucking movies and TV shows, and your bum ass sitting in the car, nigga, waiting for them niggas to pee in your ass to drop off the food, nigga. How dare you, nigga? How dare you, nigga? I've been eating off rap for the past three fucking years straight. Consistently eating off rap, nigga. I don't sell drugs. I don't sell no motherfucking socks on the corner. I don't sell no roses, nigga. I eat off rap. Mm. Fuck you eating off of, nigga. <laughs> Yo, Ray, what the fuck, bruh? Yeah, yeah. Yo.
Niggas want to talk all that drag shit. Niggas want to talk about, don't get all red, man. Don't get, nigga, fuck all red, nigga. I don't give a fuck about all red feelings. Y'all got the nerve to talk to me about all red feelings? Nigga, I'm a grown ass man. Fuck a nigga feelings. We ain't never cared about no grown man feelings. I don't give a fuck if I'm bad, nigga. You know niggas be in prison getting mad all the time and get their ass shanked the fuck up, nigga. Fuck you talking yeah. about? That shit don't mean shit, nigga, man. Niggas get they lunch stole. Niggas get they commentary, commissary stole, nigga. Get robbed in the, robbed in jail for anything they got, nigga. They mad. Them niggas don't do a fucking thing, man. Who give a fuck? God damn. Nigga, let's talk shit. real shit. Niggas don't want to talk real shit. Niggas want to keep saying all this bubble gum shit. Don't get all red mad. Yeah, he do choke, but he do butt. Nigga, fuck all that butt, nigga. When did you ever hear a butt from Jordan in the finals? Huh? Jordan is good, but ain't no fucking butt, nigga. We win. Mm. Already mm. you been choking. Nigga, you choked on battles. You had a debatable with A Ward, nigga. Don't then nigga don't give me that. You was in a motherfucking, you was in a motherfucking backyard and got cooked by a white boy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's all good. You set us back a hundred years, but it's all good, nigga. I'm gonna bring us back, you weak ass nigga. We going through shit right now, nigga. You out here getting cooked by white boys. Damn. Our race out here going through shit right now. You out here getting cooked. Nigga, you embarrassing. You talking about you embarrass me. Nigga, how, nigga? How? You out here getting scraps, nigga. You out here getting scraps for a battle, nigga. Soon as you done, you go home. You got to Uber Eats that next day. Soon as you go home on Sunday, bro. I know they made your ticket on Sunday because they make everybody ticket on Sunday. But I I, I got my ticket. I, I made myself an extra ticket so I can stay an extra day because we partying. You know what I'm saying? You can't even do that with your fucking check, nigga. You got to get back home. You feel me? Because you got a car. You got a car that you got from Uber. See, niggas don't listen. Listen, you paying your car off, you're doing rides. Your credit bad. You know what I'm saying? You jumped on with Uber. Them niggas gave you a free car. And now you got to do a thousand hours a week so you can pay your fucking car note a month through Uber. Them niggas raping you, oh. Uber raping you. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So you're not even worried about him. Come on, man. Y'all niggas gonna have another talk about a battle. Nigga, I'm already winning. You hear the facts I'm talking? I'm already winning. Jesus Christ. Yo. Oh, man. Nigga paying off his car doing rides, man. That's, that's a nigga who fucking selling drugs so he could smoke. Oh, fuck. Oh. Come on, man. This nigga selling weed so he could smoke. This the nigga who drive doing rides so he could drive. Tell me what that makes sense, my nigga. He out here doing rides so he could drive. Oh, my God. Oh, Red, it's a fact. I ordered more Uber rides than you drove, nigga. They should be able... It, it, listen, dog. I made. I, I spent more money on Uber than you made driving. Now that's a, now that's a goddamn shame. You know what I'm saying? Come on, oh. This is crazy, bro. <laughs> you are already gonna be a war. It's gonna be a war against who? What you mean? Against who? Yo, all that shit is nice. Oh, red is nice. All these sports punchlines. Listen, I know all red. Sports, sports punchlines and rebuttals. You talk, you talking about you want to see the same shit, Cap? That's what y'all like seeing. Y'all watch the same shit for forty nine battles. What he gonna do different? Mm. Huh? Mm. What he gonna do different? Fuck the sports punchlines. Fuck all that. Mm. Fuck the rebuttals, nigga. What he gonna do different? Huh? I wait. I get you. I guarantee you gonna see a different jag. Mm. Guarantee you're gonna see a different jack, but you can't see mm. a different old red. You know why? Because he's stuck in his ways, man. Old red is that old man who his wife keeps telling him to go to the doctor. His feet swell up and all that. He don't want to get up and go to the doctor. Now he just sit on the couch and die one day. You know what I mean? You yeah. know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Yo, man. what? And you Muslim? And you Uber Easton? My nigga, at the battle, I want you to bring me a bean pie and a pork sandwich, nigga. You hear me? <laughs> Stop playing with me, old Red. Yo. Old Red, you a famous Muslim. You the first Muslim 
that to go drop off a bean pie and go bring a nigga a BLT. We ain't never seen that. Never seen that, Ike. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you saw it to the door, I'm like, yo, you got one of them bean pies in the trunk too? Shit, let me get that with this BLT. <laughs> How you feel dropping off pork sandwiches? That shit got to hurt. It got to hurt. I hope you praying at the mosque. I hope you praying and, and, and repenting out here because you picking up pork sandwiches, my nigga. You touching that shit. And you ain't supposed to touch that shit, old Red. You think I don't know? Oh, Y'all here God. playing with pork? The Muslims should whip your ass. Oh, man. Breaking all the oh, fucking yeah. rules for a dollar. Selling your soul for a dollar. You go pick up that McDonald's McRib and drop it off for a dollar. Knowing you Muslim. Stand for something, nigga. God damn, I want to see this battle, if you bro. Stand for some, if you stand for nothing, you fall for anything, man. And this man, he'll pick up a whole pork fucking feast and drop it off to a nigga and act like he ain't no fucking Aki and be okay with it for a dollar. This, oh, man, I can't wait for this, bro. I can't wait for this battle, man. I, I swear it's going to be a war. I already see it. I already see it. Did you, you, gonna did, be you see, him crazy. did you see his interview, though, in the woods somewhere? All grimy. <laughs> where is your house at? My nigga, where is your... Or, show me your tent. Show me your tent. I'm tired of this shit already. Show me your tent, my nigga. Yo, you, you doing interviews in the woods? You ain't even got no bicycle in the background. <laughs> Yo, why was he in the woods? Why was he in the woods, bro? Looking like a full-blown rapist. <laughs> you talking about you gonna drag Zag like, nigga, don't drag me to the woods. I don't wanna know what you doing in the woods with them people. I don't know none of that. <laughs> Yo. What? Oh, man. What was this nigga doing in the woods, my nigga? <laughs> nigga, the trees didn't have no leaves on them or nothing. I'm, I'm like, you think I'm a fucking horror flick? Like, what the fuck is you doing? A seance? Or, like, <laughs> yeah! He might not be Muslim. This nigga might out there worshiping the devil or something like that. That's just Yo. Like, some scary movie 17. Like, oh, like, nigga, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> nigga was, nigga, in the woods. Nigga, I was in the horror oh, oh, It didn't shit. have one leaf on there. I'm like, yo, this shit, where is my nigga at? And, and, and who interviewed him? And who that fuck? Who interviewed him? Yo, yo, I think it was Uncle Rod. <laughs> I need to, I need to, I'm going to hit up Uncle Rod. I need to know where that location was. Oh, man, Shane. I, I need Shane. to know where my nigga, where he came to to film that. Like, God damn, I know Uncle Rod was feeling spooky, my nigga. I'm watching it. I'm like, God damn. I'm, I start looking around. <laughs> I, I see that nigga background. I start looking around my background like, God damn, where the fuck? <laughs> that Yo. interview, that interview showed you exactly what old Red career been looking like. What you mean, trash? <laughs> trash. He got shit to show for for his forty nine dollars, but some fucking empty trees, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like dog. Woo! All right, so look, so look. Woo. So you ain't worried about old Red. You ain't, you ain't, you don't really, like, like, oh, man, it's hard to even do this. Listen, it's hard man, to do. I'm going to have haymakers, my G. You, I don't know if you seen Danny Myers last night. He heard all my rounds complete now. He said, I got Jag 30 in this nigga. Feel me? You see that? Where? Where he said that? He said that last night. He said it on the ground. On Instagram? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. You, know I mean? you can hit Danny yourself, though. You can do an interview with Danny today if you want. You know what I mean? You know he going to tap in. You know what I mean? 
I don't want Danny to, yeah, you know what? I don't want Danny to be West Coast biased, though. Oh, no, he's he not. No, like he that. not. He said it. He said no, it. No, but he, he gets it like night. that, though. He, he does. said it last night. I know y'all going to say I'm South Central biased and all that, but no. He said, no, listen. <laughs> I got Jag 30 in him. Really? Listen, that boy going to come with that same ass rap. And the shit I'm touching on, everybody saying the same thing. Ain't nobody never talked to his talk to this nigga like this. Ain't nobody never came at him like this. Like this, this different. You could do all the punching you want to do. This guy, guy, this guy, 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 all that fucking translating. You could do all that, and I'm gonna do it right with you. Mm. So, mm. so you going you had to try to beat yourself already. Mm. I could do everything you could do, but better. You feel me? Oh, it's gonna be crazy right here, man. You fucking bump. I don't know how that Obama phone working in the woods, but shit, <laughs> it, the signal was, it was, it was all right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what? That was, duh, it was the camera. I forgot it wasn't no phone. That was the camera. You know what I'm saying? It, you, your Obama phone probably don't work in the woods. Oh, man. You going for a body bag? Huh? You going for a body bag? Yeah, well, the third round, I'm going to zip them up for sure. On some case, like, no, no, no case the I'm gonna zip him up. No case, son. You hear me? Okay, it's nothing he could do the third round, like it don't matter. He, he had to fight, like that, 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 that might be the only way he could get out of this third round, like swing on me and stop the battle. Word, yeah, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna get hit third round, he gonna get hit hard. It's gonna be embarrassing, and niggas gonna laugh at him and all that the whole third round. Oh man. God damn, Jack. Yeah. Oh, man. Feel me? Feel me? You're not playing. No, nah, I'm not playing with this nigga, man. I'm not playing with nobody. Like, listen, dog, I got to make my name known, man. You know what I'm saying? It's something I'm trying to get to. Like I said, I want to touch a million bucks off of Battle Rap. You know what I'm saying? I also, I also want to, want, want, want to, um, you know, close in. I've been been closing in on deals and shit like that on my own, but I want to close in on deals because of what I did in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? I want to show niggas how to take this shit and turn it into something new and not just be doing battle raps all the fucking time. It's a reason why I'm I'm doing battles and, and what I'm doing. Y'all you know I mean and y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see when I take this shit the fuck over. Like, damn, this nigga Jack really came in and did that. Like, how the fuck? And that's what it oh, is. Man. This is wow. They calling me. They calling me King Cringe, man. Cringe worthy Jack. Like, listen, the third gonna get wild on that boy. The third gonna get wild on that boy. The third gonna get wild on that boy. I'm gonna talk to that boy. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to him, Cap. I'm gonna really talk to him. I'm gonna break down his whole fucking life. And nigga, you know what I'm saying? And any Jack. real, and any real nigga in the building, if you a real nigga. All that fabricated rap, that shit ain't gonna work. You gonna know that he lost. You gonna have to say he lost. You, if you a real nigga, a real nigga, fuck all this fabricated ass, dressed up Halloween fucking rap. All these sports punch lines that don't matter. If you a real fucking nigga, then you gonna know this man lost clear. Jesus Christ! All right, all right, all right. I seen what you said Red was just a stepping stone. You said what? You said, oh, Red was just a stepping stone. Yeah, he is, my nigga. You're going to see me again against somebody bigger. Feel me? This will be the last time I get a regular match. You feel like, oh, Red is a regular match? Uh, Yeah, compared to the niggas I want to battle. I want mm. God tier niggas. Oh, Red is regular. Oh, 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 Red, oh, Red, oh, Red is regular. Oh, Red is, oh, Red, is, oh, Red is regular compared to a Lux. Let's just be okay. honest. Okay. It's niggas at that level that O Red is regular to. Briz. Briz killed O Red. You know what, though? You know what? Can I ask you a question? Damn, O Red, yeah, his tooth did come out of his mouth versus Danny. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Okay, all right. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right. That's all I'm O Red saying. nice was my whole thing about it. He is nice. And he gets busy on RBE. You do realize that, right? He I gets busy. Don't give a fuck where he get busy at, Cap. That don't mean shit, nigga. That don't mean a fucking thing. Skip to my Lou, Ray for Austin. That nigga got busy 
in them on, on, at, at Rucker Park. You know what I'm saying? Doing all that in one shit. He got busy. But when he came to the NBA, when Allen Iverson was there, Rayford Austin wasn't the best point guard in the NBA. Uh -huh. He wasn't uh -huh. the best point guard in the NBA. Let's be honest. So it don't matter what he did at N one. Yeah, he that nigga at N one. So the fuck what? When it came to getting on a big stage, he wasn't the best. And that's O Red. Right. Nigga, you you going against Jag, homie. I, I don't give a fuck about who else you battle. Them niggas ain't me. Like I keep telling niggas, don't compare me to none of these niggas that O Red battle. I don't give a fuck about these names, these big names. That's what niggas been doing. Names, names, names. Math is a bigger name. Like everybody was a bigger name. And they got they getting they getting handled and I'm going to the next the next match. Mm. Fuck the bigger name. I don't give a fuck about the bigger name. That shit don't mean nothing to me, my nigga. You know what I mean? So it don't matter that O Red uh is undefeated at at RVE. What happens? So that means, listen, I like it like this. What happens when I beat this man and I and I break his fucking record? Mm. What happens then? What y'all gonna say about O-Red, bro? Like, let's be honest, Cap. I don't want no no excuses from these niggas. I don't want niggas saying, oh, this, that, and that. No, what happens when this man lose? What the world gonna say to him? What's the world gonna say if you beat O-Red? If, if. When? You beat no, when, when. When you beat O-Red? Yeah. Really? You really violate no red right. You really think you're going to kill this nigga? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? How different? How different is this from the uh fully cow battle? Oh, way different. Completely different. Oh, Rick, a fucking rap. I had I wasn't enthused I wasn't enthusiastic about battling forty cow at all. Like I said on ARP interview, I told him I said, "Hey, you you are you right here? I told you that I didn't want to battle forty cow." I told him that, and I said it on live, you know what I'm saying, so we could clear it up, so that ARP wouldn't say I was lying, or that was a false thing, or nobody could say none of that. ARP was right there doing the interview, and we spoke on it, you know what I mean? So if for everybody that's in this motherfucking room, listen, dog, yeah, I told this nigga, hey, I don't want to battle 40 Cal, that nigga not good like that, I feel like it's going to bring my stock down after what I just did with Mass, you know what I mean? If, if yeah, forty cal, my energy is is way higher than his, and he got a lazy. You energy. told ARP that. Yeah. Oh wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I never wanted to battle forty. I, I told him that. Like, yeah, he not good. You know what I'm saying? He not good enough to battle me. And I told him we gonna we gonna fuck up a bag. You gonna fuck up a bag for forty and his family, and forty gonna fuck up a bag for his family because he wanna battle me. And now look, we on a new car. URL is doing so many, all these fucking battles. Fucking RBE doing doing battles now. KOTD, all these motherfucking leagues is doing battles. And guess who's not booked anywhere? <laughs> Who, 40 cow? 40 fucking cow. <laughs> so, you know, niggas say, Jag, you talk too wild. You can't talk like that, Jag. You... You talking about you gonna you gonna he gonna take money uh, food out his kid mouth? Well, what nigga was I lying? Mm. I speak the real. Niggas don't want the real. They say I speak too wild. Why am I speaking too wild? We grown ass man. I told this man don't battle me. You battle me and you gonna expose how you really rap. And look what happened, Damn. Cap. Look what happened, bro. Where's Forty Cal at? He he hosting battles on his ground. <laughs> You what? What you doing? He's hosting rap battles on his ground. What that? Okay, what's wrong with that? Come on, man. We talking about forty cal from Dipset, dog. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, let's be honest, my nigga. We talking about forty cal from Dipset, not no regular nigga up the block. We talking about forty cal. He just had a battle with Jay. This nigga. He doing he hosting rap battles now on his ground. <laughs> Feel me? Yo, I, I, <laughs> I, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Now book, he's saying nobody want to battle. Forty Cal believes that nobody wants to battle him because he's so good. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Yo, all the battle only feel like that. Find a match. 40 Cal, how is Jag booked on the biggest motherfucking battle in 2021 thus far? This is going to be the biggest night in battle rap 
in 2021. I was jag booked on there, and you not. <laughs> These niggas is fools, man. They don't like to talk to real, my G. Oh, Red, like this, I'm saving your life, man. I'm making you more famous than you ever been. You know what I mean? Niggas, I ran up on, they like, who you better? I'm like, oh, Red, they like, uh, oh, oh Red, who, who, who is that? And then I got to go show niggas. Damn. You're not even no famous nigga like that. Like, your brand is so watered down and trash. Like, you're not even a famous <laughs> nigga. You know what I'm saying? I had to listen. It's watered down and trash? <laughs> you're not, man, come on, man. And don't get to telling a woman I'm battling O Red. She really don't know who the fuck he is. Yeah, like, O Red. Who is that? Which one is that? I've never seen that one. <laughs> Yo. You got yo. You literally got no image, no buzz, no nothing. Just the industry know you, the battle rap industry, like the battle rap people, like the fans. You don't, you you got no fans. Mm. This is crazy, bro. <laughs> this is sad, man. It's embarrassing, bro. As an artist, like man, O Red is like the nigga who you don't want to be like in rap. Yo. Like when you, you know what I'm saying? Back, you know, ask a question. Yeah. Yo, yo, was O'Red your first option? O'Red was never an option. They bought O'Red to me. They said, "Hey, hey, all right, listen. It took. Let me tell you the real, my G. Some of these niggas been booked since like November, my nigga. Oh, okay. I being knew that it was a it was a battle coming up. You know what I'm saying? ARP was trying to find a match for me. You feel me? Um. And, you know, we went back and forth, 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 um, all the way up until, you know, a month ago. Mm -hmm. And he said, hey, I finally found somebody. Because, see, ARP know how embarrassing 40 Cal was and and how embarrassing that battle was and, and that it didn't do nothing for battle rap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, these ball mains, by the way, dang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, these these ball mains, man. You understand me? Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, these ain't no motherfucking Ray Bands, man. These the ball mains. Listen, <laughs> oh, Ray, you don't know nothing about that, man. You understand me? Look, we gonna get back to this. Listen, man. Um, you know, ARP was trying to find somebody he felt like I wasn't gonna bully. He said, like, you bullied this nigga 40 child, like you you did that nigga grimy, you know? You 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 bully, okay. and I don't need that in my league. Like I don't need you coming in there bullying everybody, and then like nobody want to see you battle because you just come in there dogging niggas. You know what I'm saying? So I can't have that. I gotta have a nigga who I feel ARP like. Told you. Huh? Yeah, ARP told me this. He said I feel like I gotta have a nigga who could beat you, and he and he found it. He hit me. He said I found the nigga, but I ain't gonna tell you yet. I gotta make sure he with it. So I guess he hit Old Red. He made sure he was with it. He hit me. He said Yeah, I got the nigga. He said What you feel about Old Red? I said Send a paper over. Huh. Wasn't even no thought about it. You feel me? Wasn't even no thought about it, Cap. As soon as he said old oh, red, I thought dollar signs. What? Branding, marketing, my future. What would I get to do? This nigga a stepping stone. What? I get to battle this bum ass nigga instead of you giving me a nigga who got money and get to talk all this. Nigga, I got this and I did this. At least Mav got to say, nigga, I was on this episode and this blog and this and that. Mav got to do that. You gonna give me a bum nigga? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll gladly accept. Yes, thank you. Hell yeah. Let's go. The fuck? What? <laughs> what? Um. You feel me? Mav, Mav was at least a challenge because Mav did shit. He, he, he came and he spoke for the legends. And it made sense. It's like, all right, Jack, you're supposed to be a legend. I'm going to speak for the legends. Like, I respected Mav, Mav Rounds. You know what I mean? Especially when he was yeah. doing that. Like, nigga, I did this. Classic. I was on this. Classic. I, I that guy was, was fire. That guy was fire. That was fire. I'm a real nigga. Yeah. Come on, Cap. You know me. Been a real nigga. Yeah. That was fire. I'm like, okay. The boy that broke it down on the nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? What he didn't did. You give me old red. A nigga who his biggest accomplishment is a five star rating from Uber and Uber Eats. Oh man, son. you don't think old red is top tier? Is like a top battle rapper? Uh, uh, yeah, top tier battle rapper Uber driver. That's it. He probably got the he. I know he do lift too. He probably got that glow in the dark mustache. You know what I'm saying? You you do it. You do enough rides. You I heard they I heard they mail you the glow in the dark mustache. You know what I'm saying? He riding around with the glow in the dark lift. 
You feel me? I heard he got that, and now I heard he got the the dime, the the, the rhinestone Uber sign. You know what I'm saying? So my nigga might be a diamond Uber driver out here. You feel me? Oh man! Yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? He's definitely a top battle rapper Uber driver. Uh, hey, he, it's gonna be a war. I can't wait. He might it's be the only be battle rapper Uber driver. He might be the only. Yeah, unless somebody else not telling. With the, with, you know what I'm saying? They side gig. You feel me? I wonder, have O Red battled one of his customers? <laughs> battled one of his customers? You know what I mean? He seemed like one of the niggas battle rapping his customers, man. Trying to get a five star rating, man. I'm the nigga. I don't want you talking to me, O Red. You look like your breath stink and all that, man. You feel me? Don't do no rapping. Telling niggas you rap, man. How dare you pick up a nigga in your Uber and tell a nigga you a famous battle rapper? Oh man, how that sound? Like how that sound? You don't yeah. think he's Come on, yeah. you don't think he's famous? Come on, yeah. stop. If it, you man. landed at the airport, right? You landed at the airport. This nigga pick you up. You know what I'm saying? You in the car, y'all bumping music. He like, hold on, fuck all this. I ain't gonna play no music. I'm gonna turn some shit on. I'm a famous battle rapper out here. We like famous. Like, yeah, I'm famous, like a top nigga. I got like 49 battles, over 16 million views. Like, I'm a top nigga. You know what I'm saying? And you in the Honda right now, you know, going getting dropped off to your, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The boy that picked you up in a motherfucking Kia, Optima, you know what I'm saying? And dropping you off at the motherfucking hotel, telling you he famous. Yo, this is ridiculous right here, son. This is ridiculous right here. I, I want to see this shit, Jack. I want this. This is my main event right here. I said this is my main event right here. Is this? This is my main event right here. You see, I gotta see this. It looked like I was frozen for a second, right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. That's how long I gotta keep the smirk up, man. Cause this boy is trash, dog. It's embarrassing, man. Like, man. Listen, I, what, what what do you do? Like when your mama asks what you do for a living, man. When your when your yeah. mama when your mama or your Oh yeah, Pappy asking you, boy, what you doing for a living? Like, what you out here doing? You know what I'm saying? You tell me you famous, you rapping. Where's the money? That's mm. the first thing your parents gonna say. Well, if you famous. But you know what though? You, but you know one thing though, right? What? You know if Old Red beats you, the same way you said he is stepping stone, he you definitely gonna be a stepping stone for him if he beats you. You know that, yeah. right? Oh, listen, of course, look how famous I am, man. My third battle. Yeah, old Red should be able to capitalize. But guess what you just said? Guess what you just said? Even though I'm a stepping stone for old Red, old Red won't even use the stepping stone to move forward. Old Red will be in the same spot his next battle after he battle Jack, even if he wins. And I said, fucking promise. What you saying? He going to upgrade from the kid to the beans? No, nigga. What are you going to do? Upgrade from the fucking forest, the woods he got back there to a motherfucking three-bedroom condo downtown? Wait, what? No. <laughs> So what O Red gonna do? What are we gonna do? I'm jagged stepping stone. So the fuck what? How, you think the other 49 niggas wasn't no stepping stone? God damn. How many stepping stones he need? <laughs> My nigga up here with a million stepping stones. Nigga, I don't need that many stepping stones to get to the top, my G. Oh man. They speak as man. they speak of me as a top nigga. They, a lot of people speaking of this battle as being battle of the night. Why? Against a nigga who trash against Jag. You, Jag is trash. You gonna drag this nigga. Jag ain't about shit. You know what I'm saying? Jag Cassidy's son. All this shit, right? Why niggas mm. still saying gonna be battle of the night, though? Let's be You smart. know what? You know what? Can I ask a question? Yeah. Can I ask a question? How do you feel about that with the whole Jag is Cassidy's son? How do you feel about that? Man, listen, man, if I worried about people talking about me being Cassidy Lil Homie, I wouldn't be getting to the bag. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I don't got time to focus on what people talk about. People going to talk, they threw stones at Jesus, man. Me and Cass, two different artists, that's my big brother. We just a squad together. You know what I'm saying? He was the nigga who got on first. You feel me? I used everything that he taught me and created my own fucking lane and started making my own bags and music. You feel me? Man, that's a real nigga. That's what big brother's supposed to do. Show Lil Bro how to get to it and little bro get to it you don't sit there and be no motherfucking 40 cal your whole life trying to figure out how to get to it you know what i'm saying no i got to it my nigga and i went back to la and i built my own fucking buzz that's why i performed at rolling loud as jag not no motherfucking uh jag cassidy little brother 
nigga. Hell no, nigga. I got booked as Jag. Them niggas paid me, nigga. So, nigga, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? ESPN paid me, nigga. At the end of the mm. day, nigga, they, they don't ask me about being Cassidy Low Brother. You feel me? Because I built my own fucking way. So I don't give a fuck what people talking about me being Cassie Little Brother. Yeah, I am Cassie Little Brother. He's older than me. You know what I'm saying? He's been in the game longer than me. Yes, I am the little brother, but I'm the little brother that's fucking popping, nigga. You stupid ass nigga. That's why I'm on the same fucking card, nigga. I was going to be booked regardless if Cass was on the card or not, nigga, because I created my own fucking lane. Mm. All facts. Feel me? All facts. So Damn. it's like that. I don't give a fuck about what niggas talking about, Cash. Uh, uh me being Cash, little brother. Let them niggas say that, 